Um, in the last lesson, we worked on the HTML, and um, in this lesson, we are going to add some styles. So let's um, have a look here. We'll start with the default um, styling, so styles that apply to all pages. So in our new article, we are going to target a few um, HTML elements, so content, content inner, and so on. Okay. Um, so here in our default CSS, our target our content ID. So I'm just going to set uh, the margin uh, for the top 20, right 0, down is 50, and left is 0 pixels. And, and then I'm going to have a background color uh, to be white. And we're going to have a, the top border to be 4 pixels, so it's thick. And it will be E7, EA, EC, and we want it solid. So reset the screen and we can see the solid um, border there. Okay, And a few more styles. So now I'm going to target our uh, content header and I'm going to be border uh, the bottom border will be one pixel so be hashtag f3 uh, f3 f4 and solid and also we're going to have padding so all round padding 10 pixel left and right and zero top down and there we have a bit of padding applied Okay, so the next uh, style is for page title. So page title, uh, font size will be 14 pixels. Uh, font weight is bold and padding uh, zero pixel all around, apart from uh, the left side, which is 20 pixels. Margin is zero pixel. Okay, reset the screen and we can see our pages getting there. Okay, so um, the next uh, style will be on, on our content inner. Okay, so we want to add some padding. So to be 20 pixels all around and there we have everything looks looking much better. Okay, so we have this background color, which is um, going to be unique to our uh, article page. So what I'll do is go into CSS, uh, create a new file, and save this new file as article.css. So whenever we write a style specific to a page, I like to make a style for it, a page for it. So we have a form wrapper uh, class. I will set the background to EEE. -E -E and we have padding 20 pixels. Okay, so if we go into our new article page, I'm going to add our new style, style sheet here. So CSS, and in our CSS folder, we have new article.css. Reset the screen, and we have our background colors there. Something is not quite right here. So if I come down and have a look at the options, we could add uh, a class, bootstrap class, uh, form, control, like that. So reset. Okay, so there's something not right with the margin. We have selector, but selector is not closed. So there we go. And now we have a spacing is done properly. We could select multiple items here. Uh, so we can scroll down. We can increase this and decrease it. Okay, so over here, what we're going to do in the next lesson is uh, have it so we can do this. We could select multiple, it's a lot more user friendly, and also our text area will um, be improved on. So I thought um, it would be a good idea to concentrate on a new lesson so we can learn those things in isolation. So in this lesson, um, we've done a few things, we've learned a few things made a few mistakes. Well, I've made a few mistakes and corrected them. And this is where we'll stop in this lesson and um, I will see you in the next lesson.